Kane Brown has a hopeful message of support for law enforcement during the ongoing protest. Plus, Gary Laveau from Rascal Flats is offering jobs to people who are dealing with economic hardships during this pandemic. We got a lot to get to today. Stick with us. Good afternoon and welcome to CountryCast. Thanks so much for joining us. If you're new here, please consider subscribing with notifications on so you don't miss out on breaking news and updates. Before we talk about this Kane Brown statement, let's discuss Gary Laveau from Rascal Flats. It's no secret that Rascal Flats is a very charitable group. They do a lot for a lot of people, the military, so much help for the community out there. And Gary Laveau understands that this is a very difficult time you know, from an economic standpoint. And that is why he actually owns a moving company and he's putting the word out there that he is offering employment and jobs to those in need right now. I think, you know, you, you see everything on the news all the time about, you know, the unemployment numbers or who really knows what it is. So, um, you know, ever since I made that post about that, um, you know, we've had uh, hundreds of calls and all of that stuff. Of course, most people are going want an office job and the manual labor part they're not looking forward to, but because we will hire you. And especially for our military, they're coming back from being overseas and, you know, being in a combat situation, trying to get reintroduced into civilian life. Uh, you know, I mean, we've got you covered. It's such a team effort and it's such that we have amazing employees and it's a uh, you know, we need to get people back to work and, you know, we, we want to be that for everybody and supply that need. So Gary's specifically shouting out the cities of Columbus, Cincinnati and Nashville. And he says that they are basically prepared to hire anyone who is looking for a job. And he says they've received hundreds of calls. So if you're in that area and you need employment, reach out to Gary's company, Black Tie Moving. Moving on, going back to the origins of Kelly Clarkson's career, she understands the talent search programs, that niche on television, because her career was literally started there on American Idol when she won. And so she's actually having the chance now to pay it forward to one of the judges on that show that discovered her. Obviously, I'm talking about Simon Cowell. He is a judge on America's Got Talent, and he seriously injured his back riding an electric bicycle over the weekend which has led him to need to take a hiatus from the show while he heals up those injuries. And now, naturally, Kelly Clarkson has announced she's going to be stepping in as a guest host for her former coach, mentor, whatever you want to call it. Here's Kelly's statement on Instagram, which says, My friend Simon Cowell is doing better now, but was in an accident and won't be able to make Tuesday and Wednesday's live shows for AGT. But no worries, America. Someone far wiser, cooler, and hotter is taking his seats. The un the unbelievably amazing Kelly Clarkson, you're welcome in advance. <laughs> and no doubt Kelly Clarkson's going to do an awesome job. And we've also got some other positive news now. We've got Darius Rucker from Hootie and the Blowfish and, of course, his own solo country project. And he is raising money for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. Obviously, everybody knows they are one of the most wonderful charitable organizations on the planet. They save children's lives. They care for them. They improve their life. They, they just do so much. I couldn't, I couldn't sit here for an hour and tell you all of the good that they do. And so Darius Rucker participated in a fundraiser for uh, St. Jude and tried to raise money for them. And even during a pandemic, he was able to raise a significant amount of for St. Jude. So Darius held the 2020 Darius and Friends Benefit Concert, and it was held at the Ryman Auditorium back in June, um, and it aired on LiveX Live on July 30th, um, but there couldn't be a crowd due to the ongoing pandemic. And so he had friends like Clint, uh, Clint Black, Tracy Lawrence, and this performance stream from the Grand Ole Opry. And so he actually ended up raising a whopping $200,000 plus, $255,000 to be exact, and the total raise for the hospital for the yearly concert over the years that he's done this is more than $2 million. And that is just awesome to see from him. All right, we got to move on and we're going to talk about Kane Brown, a country music superstar who continues to rise. And he recently released a collaboration track with Nelly. I actually really like the song. I think it's very catchy. And, you know, this isn't the first time that Nelly's performed country hits, doing songs with Tim McGraw and Florida Georgia Line that were hits in their own right. But we've got Kane Brown now speaking out in a new interview with Hits Daily Double, 
where he comments on the national protests in the wake of uh, the death of George Floyd. And he's talking about police officers and why he supports them and offers them encouragement. Now, he points out, obviously, like in any profession, there are bad cops and he wants to see them gone. He wants to see them dealt with. But he is, in general, very supportive of law enforcement. Here's what he had to say. He said, I'm trying to bring everybody together and they want me to pick a side. I even get pushed from one side to the other. I'm both and both push back. So I try to understand and see each other without losing the other. 2020 has been tough in general. I'm glad my daughter doesn't know what's going on and she's not going to remember. Having a biracial daughter, I have a lot of people coming at me asking, how are you going to explain to her when she's pulled over? And what are you going to tell her about the difference between her and her white friends? He says, as much as he's inclined to denounce law enforcement, he says that he knows that not all officers are guilty of brutality or unfair policing. However, he acknowledged that officers on a power trip of the badge are certainly out there. He says, there are people who think that all cops are bad, but I know that's not true. Those kids who were bullied in high school, the ones that get this power trip of the badge, they're out there. They let the power go to their heads. They bully people, but that is not all cops. I know if I get stopped, I need to put my hands on the window so they can see I don't have a weapon. Uh, you have to be real careful about how you speak because you don't know who's walking up to the car. You don't know if they're scared or acting out of. And he added, if I'm coming from my black side, I'm super scared if a cop pulls me over. But the cop, they're in the line of fire every day and that's part of it. So I try to love everybody. The cops who do their jobs, anyone who's a good person in this society, it's like the looters. I've heard it's people trying to get attention, but there's video footage of protesters trying to stop people from looting, from breaking down stores. The protesters are just a distraction and people don't want to see that. The rioters in some cases are people who've not been working, stuck at home, tired of being cooped up. They aren't about the cause, and that's what I mean about trying to see all of it. He added later in the interview, we'll never find peace until everybody understands. You need to have understanding, not just people yelling at each other wanting to be right. Then no one wins and people just get angrier on both sides. If everybody was trying to find common ground to understand where the other was coming from, what their fears are, uh, there seems to be a much better way to find a solution. Again, Kane Brown recently released this new music video, Cool Again with Nelly, and it already has a whopping 800,000 views in just a couple days. It's surely going to get plenty more after that. So, so anyways, that is all for now. Thanks so much for joining us today at CountryCast. If you're new here, please subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss out on breaking news and updates. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you all very soon. 